Now we're going to see how we can enable clone option uh, in the in the account record page in Salesforce. Uh, so um, in Salesforce, uh, what we typically see is uh, if I go to any opportunity or contact, right? Any contact record or opportunity record, uh, etc. So we get to see a default clone option. For example, I go to an opportunity. I just selected an opportunity and by default, I will see a action, you know, a button uh, which helps me to clone this opportunity. When I hit this clone, it just opens up a pop up and then I can able to, you know, uh, change the information and then have this record saved. OK, uh, you can find this option across uh, other, um, you know, other uh, objects as well. Yeah, leads, contacts, etc. OK, um, important leads don't have any lead records. Let's try contact. So, okay, let me, okay, even I can create a contact and then, you know, you will find this option. You will find this option of uh, cloning a contact. Yeah, so these are the contacts available in the org. Let's say I just choose Andy Ng and uh, let's see if we have this option of clone. Yeah, this is available, right? But you don't find this default clone option when you go to this account record. So this is what we are going to talk about today, how to, how to you know, bring that clone option. So I go to this particular account. Let me just choose uh, Edge Communications. And if I try to, you know, find a clone option, I don't find it right here. Yeah. So there is there is no straightforward way which we, you know, through which we can able to uh, enable this clone option. Okay. So we have to create, because it is not available by default, we have to follow some additional steps to get this enabled. That's all. But it's fairly simple. Okay, all we have to do is we just have to create a button, you know, a button right here, you know, uh, uh, with, with the clone option, yeah, for the users to see. I'll go to the setup, yeah, I'll go to uh, edit object, so it will take me to the object manager, and um, let's look to, uh, let's choose buttons, links, and actions, yeah. So we are going to create a new custom button, yeah. So I'll click on new button or link. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to give a, give a name to the to the to the button. So let me let's wait for this page to load. Perfect. So there is a label. I'm gonna say that uh, clone account. That's the name of my my button. Yeah. And uh, this button will help to will help to clone an account. That's it. Yeah. Okay. And you no, know, this is where we have to be a little careful. Okay. So I wanted to open this. I wanted to, you know, have uh, uh, a pop up. You know, uh, I wanted to have this button. When I when the user clicks on the button, I wanted to open this new pop up. Okay. Uh, new pop up where the user can uh, with pre filled information and then user can change it. Yeah. So I'm gonna use this content sources URL. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to choose. Uh, display an existing window without uh, with sidebar let's say it. yeah yeah so probably i'll just choose this option yeah without sidebar and header that will look nice okay yeah uh, and then uh, i'm gonna show this as a button so i'll go with the uh, detail page you know button yeah and this is where you know i wanted to i wanted to have a url yeah, I want to configure the URL. All I have to do is I just have to say that, okay, uh, I'm going to instruct Salesforce that can you open a pop up? Okay, yeah, when you do that, I'm going to say that I'm going to, I'm going to say, uh, uh, open a pop up with data pre filled from the account from which the button was clicked. Okay, so how do I do that? So I can just choose the account ID through which you know the um, through which the account details you know get pre populated. And then we can use, you know, we can use a query string parameter. I'm just going to have a, um, I'm going to have a query string parameter e equal to so e uh, a question mark then clone equal to one. So this is the workaround. Okay, the moment you have a URL constructed this way. Okay, this account already indicates that. Okay, pre-populate the account data okay when the button is clicked okay and it needs to you know it needs to run in the clone mode right so so we we just use a query string parameter e question mark clone equal to one that's it. that's all we have to do it so once we complete this we can just click on save button yeah yes 
so i just created a you know a button i just need to add this to the page okay let's quickly do that i'll go to the page layouts and uh, you have to choose the layout you know where you wanted to add this particular button i go to this account layout and then go to uh, mobile and lightning actions you will find the newly created button so drag and then dra drop into this drag and then drop i'll just try to move this to the first one let's click on save yeah that's it we are done now let's go back to the account page and then see if the button is appearing or not yeah so let's go to edge communications let's try to refresh this page and if everything is fine it should open up you know it should uh, show the button yes we do have the button right so now i can click this button yeah and it should open up a small pop-up with pre-populated you know edge communications data isn't it let's see if this is happening or not when i click on the button Perfect. Now you can just see this, right? A pop-up, you know, it did open a pop-up and then you know, all the existing information, right? pre populated So now I can just change this um, hey communication, secondary, etc. Yeah, I can I can make changes, you know, as um, as I want and then I can click on, you know, save. That's it. We just, you know, managed to clone a new account record, you know, uh, or managed to clone and then create a new account record. Okay. There are certain things you need to, you know, remember. So this is pretty cool. You know, you can just get the account information, you know, cloned, but it will not clone any related data. It will not clone related contacts, opportunities, cases, if there are any activities associated, right? So it will not help you to, you know, uh, help you to clone the associated data. So so remember that okay so we have to either use flow or you know any other triggers etc to you know uh, to um, to get this related information also clone okay but but you know what we can do is with this particular approach we can clone an existing account record i hope it was helpful so wherever you see this clone option is missing you can follow the same steps it's not applicable only for the account record yeah so if you, if there is a particular object where the clone option is missing you know you can create a button just like what we did okay and all you have to do is you just have to you know ensure that the appropriate id is uh, is given in the url followed by you know the query the query string parameter clone equal to one so that helps you to introduce this clone option for any records for that matter yeah i hope it was i hope it was helpful thank you